In this video, we will talk about difference between batch and continuous manufacturing in the pharmaceutical industry and discuss how they differ from each other in terms of process stages, process monitoring, process checks, decision maker and implementing quality. Hi guys, welcome to my channel with another video. In this video, we will discuss about batch versus continuous manufacturing. But let's start with a brief introduction of batch and continuous manufacturing. Batch and continuous manufacturing are two common methods of manufacturing processes in the pharma industry. They both represent how raw material advances to different stages, how process metameters are monitored, and how quality principles are applied to a product. Batch Manufacturing Batch Manufacturing is a conventional method of manufacturing pharmaceutical product. It is commonly used in most manufacturing processes around the world. The production process is divided into many stages and each stage is dependent on success of its preceding stage. For each stage, there are dedicated equipment and facility. Batch manufacturing can be set up and become operable with minimum resources and, and in less time. But the product in batch manufacturing process consumes more time and resources from raw material to the final finished form. Continuous manufacturing is the latest and innovative method of manufacturing pharma product. Production process only occurs in a single process. They are expensive to set up, but product can be manufactured with minimum resources and time. Difference between batch and continuous manufacturing Let's discuss some of the common differences between batch and continuous manufacturing and see how they differ from each other. Process stages Process stages mean how a product advances throughout its life cycle until it is converted to its final finished form. In batch manufacturing, there are multiple stages of the production processes. Product is manufactured in its finished form by passing it through different stages. Each stage has its dedicated equipment and facility. Equipment or facility of one stage cannot be used for another stage. Product advances to its next stage only after it has passed its acceptance criteria. If the product does not pass the acceptance criteria, the process is again repeated until it passes. In continuous manufacturing, there is only a single stage through which the entire production process occurs. Also, the process is executed in a single equipment or facility and there is no need to transfer products from one stage facility or equipment to another. Product sampling is performed online, that is, at the equipment without stopping the production process. Similarly, process improvement techniques are also applied online without stopping the production process. Process Monitoring Process monitoring means how the production process is monitored for different variables and parameters. In batch manufacturing, process monitoring is offline at each individual stage. Sampling is done on the equipment and testing is performed offline in the laboratory away from equipment or the facility. During the testing process, Equipment is stopped and upon satisfactory results, process is allowed to advance to its next stage. The production process does not advance to its next stage during sampling and testing until final results are determined. In continuous manufacturing, process monitoring is performed online. Sampling and testing is performed during the process execution without stopping the process. If results are not satisfactory, process parameters are adjusted online 
without stopping the production process in an equipment. Process checks. Process checks means how the product's parameters are monitored for quality. In batch manufacturing, conventional lab instruments perform the process parameter checks. Samples are taken to the laboratory where they are placed and installed. Before applying samples to these instruments, samples need preparation. Samples are prepared according to the specific instrument so that instrument is capable to accurately read and analyze. Results are localized with the laboratory and must be communicated by manual or electronic means to the concerned person at the place of process execution. In continuous manufacturing, process analytical techniques is used. In this technique, specialized instruments test the product during the production process directly on the equipment. Results are not localized and can be accessed with proper internet connection, hardware and login access. Decision Maker Decision Maker means who makes a major decisions about the product or process. In batch manufacturing, who must perform the decision making process. They analyze the output of instrument and decide the future line of action. Humans decide the entire testing phenomenon such as sampling time, frequency, sequence and test procedures. There is no automatic mechanism to check the agreed phenomena. Process improvement techniques are also decided and performed by humans. For example, if there is a deviation reported in the output of a test, humans must interfere to check and adjust the particular variable. In continuous manufacturing, software analytics is used as a decision maker without human intervention. Entire testing procedure parameters are decided by software analytics. Process improvement techniques is also performed by software analytics. Quality implementation. Quality implementation means how quality is achieved and ensured in a final product. In batch manufacturing, quality is tested after the process has been completed. Under this approach, quality is injected into the product rather than ensured during the production. If quality attributes are satisfactory, process is executed to its next stage. If on the other hand, quality attributes are not acceptable, the process is repeated until quality parameters become acceptable. The entire product batch is discarded or destroyed if it is impossible to obtain the desired quality attributes. Continuous manufacturing is characterized by quality by design. Real-time process monitoring and Real-time process monitoring and control enables ensuring quality online during the process. It allows the process to automatically adjust various parameters during the manufacturing process to compensate for the desired quality attributes. This reduces time and resources. It also prevents scrapping or destroying the entire batch in case quality attributes are unable to be achieved. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you immediately know when there is a new video. You can also read this article on PharmaSpecs website. Link is also in the description.